guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my July, no not July, June. I have my June favourites for you guys. Can you believe that July is literally around the corner? Like, what is this madness? I do not know. But anyway, today I have my June favourites for you guys. I do have a few things, not that many, but I did still want to share them with you guys. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the favourites. First one is the Smashbox Primal Water. I did think this was like an absolute gimmick when I heard about it, but I was like, you know what? Can't beat it till I try it, you know what I mean? So I decided to give it a go, and I actually really do like it. Like, it doesn't make your foundation or your base products look any different, but you can notice it in terms of longevity. Like, obviously it's not gonna fill in your pores or anything like that, because it is like a liquid, so it can only really do so much, but I really do notice a difference in terms of longevity, and it does also give my skin just a little bit of a wake up in the morning. Because at the moment in Australia, it's absolutely freezing cold because it's snowing in the mountains. And no joke, just spraying this on your face, like seriously, just wakes you up. You're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Do I think it's a be-all, end-all product? Of course not. It's like literally a water solution. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make that much of a difference unless you want longevity. But it is a good product, that's for sure. And I have been reaching for it a lot. Okay, foundation. I've been obsessed with the NARS All Day Luminous weightless foundation so this I did include in my foundation routine and I was using it more in conjunction with the makeup forever ultra HD foundation mixing those two together still love that method but it was because I only own the shade stromboli and stromboli for me on an everyday basis is a bit too green so I did go out and I did buy the shade Punjab which is this one here and oh my goodness I love this foundation so much on its own as well as using it as a mixer it's very, very lightweight, as the name suggests, but it still gives very, very full luminous coverage. Like, you can definitely get medium coverage out of it, or you can build it up to pretty much full coverage, at least for me. I really do like it. I've seen in some videos that people just use one or two drops, and that's, like, full coverage for them. I think that's complete BS, but I do think it's a good foundation. I use a standard of about maybe two pumps, and I can do my whole face, um, and I just use a little bit more if I want more coverage. For physical primer to actually fill in the pores, I've really been enjoying the Becca one. This one's the resurfacing primer in the mattifying formulation formula, if that makes any sense at all. I really do like it just to kind of target it in the areas that I feel like my pores are the most prominent. I really, really like it. I don't feel like it keeps me more matte than normal, but it is very nice. And it's not super like slippy or like you can feel it on your skin. Like it's very, very lightweight, I guess, but it's still effective. For moisturizer, this is an oldie but a goodie. I remember using this in high school and I wanted a higher SPF moisturizer than what I was already using. So I went onto iHerb actually and I saw the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. Back in high school, I used SPF 25 because that's all that was available on the Australian market at the time to my knowledge. Um, but I did see SPF 30, so I was like, you know what, let's give it a go. I love this moisturizer for the pure fact that it doesn't leave your skin greasy it does dry down to a very matte formulation, which I think is perfect for putting makeup on top of your skin. I wouldn't use this at night time because I don't feel like it's hydrating enough for the night time, at least for my skin, but I do like it in the daytime to give myself a little bit of moisture and a little bit of SPF as well. I think this is a really, really good one. And it's from the drugstore. I think it's like 20 bucks. I don't know. So recently I became obsessed with pigments and glitters. Where that obsession came from, I do not know. But I've been loving the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is what it looks like. Um, just as a kind of base for my pigments or my glitters if I really want them to pop and actually stay on the eye. I feel like it's very, very nice. It's the only glitter glue that I've tried, so I don't know if it's better than others, but it does work for what I want it to do. Two pigments that I've been loving this month are Tan Pigment, which is this one here from MAC. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful rose goldy color. And then this one here from Inglot, it's in the shade number 24. If you love golds, you need this. Like seriously. It's like a little pot of gold. Like can we just take a minute? Like oh my god. I never thought the day would come where I would say that I have a new favorite pair of lashes, but I do. These are the Socialize Vixen Lashes. This is what they look like in their little box. They are quite wispy and spacey, if that's even a description at all. Um, but I did announce on my Snapchat, and if you're not following me on Snapchat, you should, because I always rant on there and like rave about stuff on there. I put 
The first time I used it, I hated it. It was too spacey and just where my eye curves, it just made a massive bold spot and I didn't like it. Second time, I was like, Laura, you need to give these another go. So I was like, okay. And I put the glue on, put it on my eye, and then I realized I stuck the wrong eyelash on the wrong eye. The wrong eye, yeah. Like the right eyelash on the left eye and the left eyelash on the right eye. But you know what? I love how it looks. That's what I've done today. And what I really like about the Vixen lashes is for the fact that they do go from small to big and then small again. But I hate the first one. The first one literally does nothing and it looks too liney on my eye. Like it's, it just, it doesn't have any curl to it. It's too short. I don't like it. So I chop it off and then I swap the eyes over. Like I swap the left eye for the right eye and vice versa. And I love how it looks. Seriously, love these so much the way that I wear them. If you like wearing them the normal way, then that's good too. But for me, I like wearing them the left one on the right eye and the right one on the left eye. That might be so weird, but I love it. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's my monthly favourites for June done and dusted. I can't believe this month has already come and gone, but I'm so excited for what July has in store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!